This conference will now be recorded. Hi all, all, welcome to the next session on ABAP reports. In the last class, we have seen the ALV reports by using object-oriented ABAP, by using screens, okay? So what we did, we have created in a report and in that we call in a screen. In the screen, we have defined in a custom control and we have given the name to the custom control and also we came back to the program we have uh, prepared in a final internal table for the output and in the call screen okay we have defined two objects one for the gl uh, sorry cl gui custom container and another object for the cl gui alv grid that's in a data objects and in the call screen if you want to display the output in the screen so you must write the code in the pbo section and in pbo we have written we have instantiated the two classes one for the custom container another one for the clgui alv grid so in the clgui custom container we pass the um, custom control name and also we have <coughs> why it's came here <coughs> actually it's in module pool program yeah so cut insert okay paste cut yeah so then we have passed the custom control name to the clgui custom container object and we have instantiated the one more object the clgui alv grid in that we have passed the the custom control object and as well as the field catalog and as well as the the final output uh, internal table and the Field catalog, if you want to generate in a field catalog in ALV by using object oriented ABAP, we are going to use the function module LVC underscore field catalog underscore match. And we have displayed the data by using method. So we call the method by using uh, CL underscore GI ALV uh, grid. And we have called a method set table for first display. And the set table for first display which will display the data on the screen by using field catalog by using the output internal table and also if you want to do any interactive reporting in the alv object oriented abap so what is the found fund is so in the object oriented abap whenever you do any actions the events we need to handle so whenever you do some action on the output screen a event will be triggered so for every event we need to handle the event handler methods so if you want to handle the event handler methods we need to declare in a local class in the program so in the local class we are going to define the methods by providing the encapsulation the public visibility the public section then define the method so the method the handle double click for event which event you need to handle the um, uh, set handler methods and so of which class so this is a clgui alv grid class and importing for every event you know there are some importing parameters so when you click on a field name or field value the field name will be stored in this double click is the uh, handle the method the double click event the uh, row number will be stored in the e underscore row the column on which field you click on that will be stored in the e underscore column so then we have defined a method we have implemented the method in the method we check the condition if the field name equal to matnr and you know the index if you know the index you can read the record from the internal table on which row you clicked on it so the index number will be stored in the e underscore row so based on the row we can do an a read table with the index and we read the record and we find the value on which a value you clicked on it so based on that value we have displayed in a mm03 material display 
by calling the transaction mm03 and skip first screen and we need to set the value in the sap global memory so we have used set parameter id and by using parameter id field the value the field value which we have used it guys so that's the yesterday's class which we have discussed and today we are going to do in a how to set the custom application toolbar okay how can you add our own toolbars to the alv grid that we are going to see in today's class guys add custom button push buttons add custom push buttons in alv vovo above okay this is different guys in function model there is in a different way in uh, object oriented above there is in a different way in function module what is the way did anybody remember how can you add the custom toolbar in the uh, in the function module huh? in the function module how did you add it sai so you come if you that is a user command parameter that is a user command parameter yeah there is a parameter set pf status parameter in the alv grid display importing parameter there you need to pass the subroutine and that subroutine you need to declare and so we are going to define a subroutine subroutine using excluding tab that's what we have declared some tab we have declared and then inside that we have written a code set pf status the status name the gui se41 status name and excluding some tab that's what the logic which we have written guys but here in this case so if you want to handle the push buttons we need to handle the events case so the events what are all the events what we need to do that we will discuss in today's class and go to the sap I see 38 go back to the function model you should know the differences case so in this program everything it is there even yesterday also i told you refer this program and come back and here you can see the uh, this is the second one the first one is see so there is an a parameter callback pf status set okay here i have passed in a custom toolbar this is an a subroutine and go to this subroutine see form custom toolbar using uh, this we need to declare a list underscore t underscore exclude tab okay and here you need to set pf status alv custom this is the our custom toolbar and excluding this the standard one you need to exclude it guys so this is the code which we have written to custom to add in a custom toolbar but here so we are going to add in the alv object oriented how we can do that we are going to see in today's class case maybe go to se38 and what is the program which we have uh, did okay uh, star uh, star p u r this one uh, star mm. if i put one more star here i will get it okay what is the best way se10 display Her reports for ALV. This is the one I think. Program purchase report above. Correct. Why it's not coming? Actually, it should come. Oh, someone deleted or what? 
See, this is the program. Someone deleted this program. Yeah. Why people will delete the programs here? I don't know. Okay. Okay, this is the previous program without handling the this thing. So long back I have explained. Maybe I will utilize this program. So okay, three thousand execute. See guys. So this is the uh, program. This is the material. And but I didn't enable any uh, art spot. And we maybe we'll do today again. Okay, Wasim is laughing. Okay, you want you want to repeat? Huh? So we are going to enable any. Uh, hotspot for this. Okay, can you anybody tell what are the steps? And also the back button is also not working. And guys, so here the standard buttons. It will. We need to write the code. This will be done in the PA. But here you can see in the ALV level there are some toolbar uh, things. So there are some options. Suppose if you want to add this here in the ALV report level, we need to handle by using some events. We need to handle it, guys. So this is this is fine. This is a screen level uh, buttons. The screen level buttons where you can handle in the PA, we are going to handle it. But in case of this, the ALV uh, level uh, buttons, we should not handle in the PA. We need to handle the events because entire ALV is an one object. So G underscore ALV, that is an object. With that object only, we need to handle the things case. That's the difference. So here we have also buttons. Here also we have uh, the buttons. Can we handle in the same way PA, but it's which is not possible. You have to handle these buttons. These are the uh, uh, in the call screen in PBO. We have enabled these buttons guys. This we can handle it in the PA, but these we cannot handle in the PA guys. So come back. So slash and B E and D. If you are not able to go, you need to use this and SE 38. Okay, sorry. SE 39. 39. C 38 and the program is okay. Uh, purchase star P U R star. Okay, this is the report and change uh, today. Also, I am repeating. So, so what we are going to do is uh, first go to the call screen. In the call screen, uh, PA is not enabled and go to the PA. Yes. This is the standard toolbar buttons. Okay, not ALV toolbar buttons. Okay, case Psi iPhone U C O M M and and case and okay when it is back when it is uh, exit single quote huh? exit or when it is Cancel and it is in a cancel and leave to okay screen zero. That's it. Okay, save and pretty printer and do the syntax check and activate. Activate it and you need to activate the screen. This is the screen. Activate. And come back and pretty printer and what we did uh, we did only some data guys okay maybe I am going to do the uh, see only we move the EKPO data right I need to move the EKKO data as well what I need to do so read the table okay say how many times into GS underscore EKKO I know with the key because I know the purchase order number. That's why I'm using an with the key and we have an EBLN and GS underscore EKPO hyphen EBLN and if Psi hyphen sub RC which is equal to zero and and if normally best practice you need to use the binary search and uh, move corresponding uh, GS underscore EKKO to the final GS underscore EK. Oh, sorry 
js underscore final so this is the uh, thing which we need to do pretty printer and now so in the pbo we have instantiated the class for the custom container and we have instantiated the class for the alv and we have generated a field catalog but if you want to provide any hotspot so we need to read the table uh, gt underscore field cat field cat and into uh, gs underscore field cat and with uh, uh, key i know the field name the field name is the field in the field catalog which will store in a material number mat and r and if size sub rc equal to zero if there is in a field with this okay in the field catalog and and if and change the value provide the value for the field catalog for the hotspot we know the there is in a hotspot field and which you need to pass as an x and i am going to pass as an x above true okay then you need to modify i have i did any change in the work area you need to change in the internal table and gt underscore field catalog and modify that from the work area and from work area and index you need to use sci tab x whenever see whenever whenever you read the table with this record suppose if the material number is available at 20th record the 20 will be available in the sci tab x case the 20th record and transporting which field you have changed you need to tell which field you have changed in this internal table which field you have changed in the gt underscore field catalog the field is hotspot guys you have changed the value for the hotspot field sorry hotspot hotspot okay so this is the thing pretty printer do the syntax check and pretty printer into the syntax check and activate and yesterday's question uh, in the one of the interview how can you enable in a hyperlink in the uh, uh, alv guys so maybe what i am going to do is even i am going to uh, the output table just i will put an a url some dummy url i am going to put it so field catalog where is the field ca uh, not field catalog the output the purchasing output structure and change just i am going to add some dummy field okay maybe i can put an a url types and which is an a uh, sm uh, tp underscore a d d r this is an email uh, sm tp uh, ad underscore some field something ad underscore smtp f4 uh, data elements search for data elements see so this is the one guys so this is the data element for the email address let's simple uh, something which i have enabled okay that length is 241 and activate So maybe in the output also I am passing some test uh, value, okay? And uh, uh, GS underscore uh, final iPhone uh, URL you uh, are uh, final. I should get an a URL option. Maybe I need to refresh the screen. Okay, come back and again go change mode and uh, please you to do like this. So here in the screen, events, start of selection. So here I am going to pass GS underscore final, iPhone, you are a uh, final, how to, I have, how I have declared in a final this, and here uh, in this final, I have an a URL, why it's not coming? This is my GS underscore final, in this huh okay we'll do the final iphone url 
and which is equal to the www.edztech.com. So this is the one which I am passing is save and pretty printer. And for this actually, even the URL field also, I am going to uh, put in a hotspot guys. See, and go to the uh, here and also do the same kind of logic and control C. And this is the second field, control V and read the field catalog with the field uh, URL and hotspot above true and modify this field as an uh, interactive field. Okay, pretty printer and and uh, go to the uh, here and activate this program and activate activate this and also the screen also should be in active mode the screen also in the active mode guys and execute and execute and give this example execute and see guys the interactiveness is enabled on the material number and i go to the uh, email see guys the email are also it should be works like in a hyperlink maybe i do in a double click yeah actually it should go it's not going and okay come back come back why, why it's not working back exit cancel back exit cancel back exit pa it should trigger in a pa slash h okay click back f7 see sai you come oh sorry it should be an a e yesterday we forgot the whenever you come back so the sai you come it is storing standard sap as an a e guys okay so in this case we need to write an a e guys okay in this case we need to write an a e so slash slash and b e and d go to se 38 and change and the pai go to the pai module double click and it should be an a e when it is an a e leave screen and also go to the uh, events start of selection here and also guys i am going to put an a hyperlink so maybe this is an a url so do we have hyperlink option h hyperlink control space field name check table column id column mod column position currency so see the uh, do some uh, edit exponent field name uh, column key function type select hotspot and uh, key key selection leading zero mass mark and no output no zero parameter uh, something round style symbol uh, tool tip that's it we do not have anything so directly we cannot call in a hyperlink guys so that's not possible that's not possible you need to put on a hot spot you need to put on a hot spot that you need to handle it Okay, leave about this. Then we need to handle the double click functionality case. So execute and put this and execute. And whenever I double click on the material and it should go to the, the material master display and come back and come back. For this, what you need to do? You need to handle in a local class. You need to handle the event double click. So how can you handle the event double click? Which we are going to see now so class <coughs> lcl underscore 
uh, events and it's in a definition so and and uh, class this class whatever the class i can define i it's my choice case and also methods uh, it's methods and handle underscore double click and uh, uh, for uh, event it's in a double click is the event case uh, double underscore click of class cl underscore gui underscore alv underscore grid and importing importing okay and we have uh, e underscore row and e underscore uh, column and uh, e underscore something is there yes underscore row number so this is the uh, thing and also you must declare in a uh, encapsulation which is in a public section this is the first step okay ready printer and implement the class and class class lcl lcl underscore events and implementation and also uh, and class and uh, method and method name is handle double click and uh, and method okay that's it and you need to write the code and so if e underscore column and which is equal to the if you click on a material number and set uh, sorry and if and so you know the row number the row the index will be the index will be available in the e underscore row guys and you need to do the uh, read table gt underscore final and into gs underscore final and index and the index value is e underscore uh, row hyphen so there is an index that's it and if psi hyphen sub rc and which is equal to zero and and if and uh, you need to do in a set parameter id and if it is in a material the set parameter id is mat which is available in the data element and further characteristics and field uh, and field the what is the value which you clicked on it the value is gs underscore final and which is an a uh, sorry uh, gs underscore final iphone mat error and you need to do the call transaction not transformation it's an a, a transaction and the to display the material it's an a mm03 and skip first screen so this is the code which ha which we have handled in the yesterday is pretty printer do the syntax check and activate and activate maybe to make you more understandable i am going to put in a breakpoint in this method and breakpoint and uh, maybe guys so uh, i always executing the same report instead of this i am going to create a transaction code for this case so create a transaction code for this report and se what is the transaction code to create a transaction code se 93 and g uh, a l v uh, uh, p u r over create and it's an a tell me which option i need to select is it in a program and screen or it is in a program and selection screen see this is a program and selection screen if it is in a module pool program then you need to select program and screen and provide the program and standard selection screen is thousand guys so whenever you use selection screen the screen number should be thousand don't use that call screen call screen is different call screen we are calling inside the report and the, whenever you use the, uh, the one minute guys i'm getting a call from office this conference will now be recorded so we have created in a transaction code and the transaction code uh, we are going to use for the execution purpose so transfer to request for lv reports and okay and someone deleted my program we are doing again okay so this is the 
thing is and enter the 3000 execute see we are executing via transaction code i am going to double click on r1002 so double click okay so not only defining the method guys and but also we have to call this method guys we need to call this method after the uh, in the in the pbo we have to call this method how can you call this method so after this you need to call the method set uh, handler set handler and method is uh, set handler huh? is it correct set handler and we need to use jivo underscore alv and uh, instance since it is an object and also guys we need to create an object sorry create object even i don't have any object for this and after this first i need to instantiate the local class right so class definition class implementation and after this i need to define a data objects and my data object is jivo uh, underscore uh, events and type uh, ref to lcl underscore uh, lcl underscore uh, events lcl underscore events see guys in object orientation suppose see after the class i have asking one question the object orientation i defined a class i defined a implementation right but my data objects i need to declare in the top here i need to declare okay tell me what is the system behavior now if i declare the if i do the syntax check what is the error which you are going to get it huh? check the lcl events is unknown that means we are we are referring the class which is defined under this definition so but still if i want to declare here what statement which i need to use perfect answer you need to use the deferred statement so where i need to write that deferred class definition uh, here uh, uh, deferred somewhere i have written definition def yeah definition deferred see do the syntax check uh, lcl events is unknown so uh, where's something i need to uh, write okay i think implementation also uh, somewhere i need to do this case a deferred statement data this i have written here deferred uh here also i did this we did this somewhere we need to put okay maybe deferred i will put an a f1 so we'll see where exactly uh, okay i think class class name definition deferred i need to write this statement okay uh, directly i need to write somewhere okay before that i need to write this statement also guys this statement also i need to uh, write so maybe uh, here i'm going to write class class name lcl underscore uh, events and definition default okay this is the statement which we need to write it pretty printer and do the syntax check uh, huh? here no need to write it i think to the syntax check yeah perfect it's working fine and then uh, in the pbo you need to create the object now i am going to create an object lcl underscore events so do the instantiation then later you need to ha use the set handler and jivo underscore alv uh, sorry zero underscore alv no sorry lcl underscore events and use the lcl underscore events uh, set handler lcl underscore events what is the statement which i used 
create object lcl underscore events lcl underscore events maybe yesterday i have used the statement yes create object lcl events see whatever i have declared that i am only i am using it okay so this is the lcl events no guys not lcl events this is an uh, declaration what i did what declaration lcl events but it's in a geo underscore events case that's the problem not the lcl lcl events is in a class but geo events is in a object you need to use this object geo underscore events sorry i have to use the not lcl underscore events it's in a geo underscore events and this geo underscore events which you need to use guys geo underscore events and now you can use the handle double click method and uh, off what is the uh, control s set handler this for i think for geo underscore a l v and this is the thing which i did in the uh, last class and do the activation so guys definitely you need to instantiate the local class then you need to use an a set handler method call the set handler method call set handler method from local class so this step must guys otherwise the double click functionality will not be triggered see definitely you have defined a method the method you should call it right so we are calling that method and now maybe i can uh, execute this report come back come back and again do the transaction code and uh, give the input 3000 and now i am going to do a double click and it is going to the particular uh, mm03 transaction maybe the my breakpoint is uh, moved up that's why it, it doesn't trigger my breakpoint guys come back and go here and put in a breakpoint on the uh, very very important steps and see my breakpoint moved up so again put in a breakpoint and now go back and go to the report and enter and execute and f8 and click on next material i one one zero zero see what are the material column which column you clicked on it m a t n r and which index you clicked on it it's net 20. so see in the gt underscore final what is the 20th record so go to the 20th record see guys i double one double zero so we know the index so if you know the index i can read this record so read table with index operation we are doing an array table with index operation in this gs underscore final you can see the material number is i110 so that i110 we are going to set that value in the global memory and we are calling the transaction mm03 whenever you call it so it calls that material with our display transaction guys that's it so this is the interactiveness of the uh, alv report with the clgui alv grid but here now uh, I am going to introduce one more field called checkbox. Okay, I will enable in a checkbox in the in front of the purchase order. Okay, and also I am going to use in a select all, a deselect all, and display. Uh, this is my purchase uh, order. Based on the purchase order, I would like to display uh, item is also there. Maybe uh, I will have I will uh, go to that relationship later. Maybe I will go to the uh, deliveries for this purchasing. For every purchase, for every sales order, we have an outbound delivery, guys. Why? Because I'm running a company. If there is an order from the customer, we need to deliver the product. That means my product is going from my company to the customer. That delivery, we call it an outbound delivery. But in case of purchase order, that means I am buying some product from the vendor. And that means for company, I will receive the product from the vendor. That means it's an inbound delivery, guys. So this is the business terms. Outbound delivery means it comes into the sales. Inbound delivery means it comes into the purchase, guys. See, if I click on the, 
I will select the purchase document numbers and when I click on the inbound delivery, it should display the inbound delivery details guys. That's the functionality which we are going to do in this report. So we are going to add the check boxes. We are going to put select all, deselect all and display inbound delivery details case. So that's the uh, thing which we need to do. But if I want to have any checkbox, I need to have a field in the field catalog. That means I need to have this in the output table. I need to have that means I need to add an a field in the structure. So uh, go to the uh, declarations top and we have an output. This is the output structure for the ALV. But if it is in a checkbox, always I need to have this in the front first. So this is my checkbox. CSJ box and type it's an, uh, a car uh, one so it's in a single character field case so but here there is no description why because so i didn't use any data element it's a direct uh, uh, a single uh, field vector and here i didn't get in a field label case if i don't have any field label but whenever i display i will not get in a field uh, description so that is also another point and maybe i go to here and come back and come back and fetch the report again and enter the input 3000 and execute and execute and you will display the field of checkbox but this field is not like in a checkbox it's field like in a normal output field but if i want to make this field even the description did you see the description no, no. so that means i need to add a description here and also i need to make this field as in a checkbox so how can we do that so if you want to do that and go to the not this why it's in a debugging i didn't execute this i didn't execute this i have executed a report Okay, stop transaction. Okay. Uh, stop transaction. So we know the program SC38 and uh, uh, change and go with the object list. It's very easy to write the programs. Okay. And uh, now what I would like to do is uh, I need to enable in a checkbox and go to the PBO and where you did the field catalog. So you, feel, you did in a field catalog in PBO and here I am going to read the one more field is control C and control V and uh, so the field here is in a CHK CHK box and if it is in a checkbox and here don't do any hotspot checkbox we don't do any interactive and it's an there is a checkbox field see the checkbox which is equal to true and also guys if it is in a checkbox i need to do an a uh, the field should be in a editable mode or else we'll do like this only okay so here what field which we have changed not a hotspot it's in a field of checkbox the field is in a check this field you need to put an a as an a transporting so if you want to don't want to do this statement so declare in a field symbol and automatically it does for you guys pretty printer that is also one more uh, way we can do this so activate the uh, this and now i go to the output and come back and come back and go to the transaction and so in the transaction execute and okay and execute and you can see there is a checkbox, but can you select this checkbox? Is it in an editable mode? No. If you want to do an editable mode, so do the uh, one more uh, option. So GS, everything is the a field cat guys in the uh, ALV and edit. Okay. So I think spelling mistake and edit and you need to use edit and which is equal to above underscore. So that means it's an X case. But here you change two fields checkbox and edit. So what field you have changed even edit also I have changed. So that's what you need to define over here guys. And, and also guys even I need to put an a description as well. So field cat and 
selection text cell text cell text which is equal to the choose I'm going to put in a choose and also you have changed in a cell text even the cell text also you need to add in the modify statement whatever the field you modified that you need to add in the modify statement guys and now i come back come back and execute the report again and execute it and 3000 and execute it and execute and you can see now the editable option and you can see the table but the field description is not not coming but i can select the records case see i can select the records i can select the records case now my task is i need to capture the selected records that's one task and guys suppose user want to uh, i'm selecting manually that is fine but user want to select all the records sometimes but is it it takes a lot of time to select so i need to give an a select all option i need to give an a deselect all option and that means we need to design our custom toolbar buttons on top of the standard toolbar button and also when i do in a select all it should do the select all when i do that deselect all it should do the deselect all and when i select some records it should we are able to read the some records guys how we can do this so first we are going to add the uh, this button select all deselect all buttons but so normal by using set pf status we cannot do this set pf status we can do here and we can do here but i need i would like to do in the alv itself so if you want to do an alv so we have to handle the events case so the events which we have for this is go to the se24 and we have class cl underscore gui underscore uh, gui underscore alv underscore grid this is the class okay display and and go to the events and we have the uh, one thing is uh, toolbar button uh, toolbar button one thing is and menu bar menu buttons so there are two events case one is the one is double click we have handled uh, uh, menu button and a toolbar these two events which we need to handle guys so one is menu button and adding the toolbar options so okay maybe i will go to the toolbar and everything here is then a parameters guys so you need to check the parameters so toolbar go to the toolbar and see the here here we can see there is an object this object is referenced with one more class guys see so here you can see it's a type ref to this and that means it becomes an a data object and in this class uh, type ref to this object guys in this object uh, we have the uh, attributes and see empty toolbar so this is a one kind of it's in a table type if you can see this is in a table type it's in a standard button and you can see here you can mention what is the function code so function code means the s a l l d a l l that's in a function code whenever you click on a function code so the value will be stored in the sciucom right that's in a function over here and if you want to set an icon you can set the icons okay what is the button type okay so what kind of button it is so maybe go to the button type value range and you can see one means it's in a normal button and uh, it's in a two means it's in a menu bar button guys it's in a menu bar button so we have in a radio button check boxes like this and maybe my button is kind of in a menu bar button so two i am going to select it guys so that time uh, the uh, things and also if you want to give in a text suppose if you want to give the select all the text if you want to do we need to do this case okay so these are all the options which we are going to handle it so go to here and first you need to declare a event it's in a set handler event so we have to declare a set set handler uh, things so go to the local class and next method which i am going to handle is so once again i need to write in a method guys do we write methods like this no so what i can do i can put in a comma and next one is handle toolbar so this is my uh, method 
and for event for event what is the event so come back come back and my event is come back okay and come back and toolbar is the event toolbar is the event of uh, cl underscore gui same guys alv underscore grid okay and importing importing e underscore object case so e underscore objects and e underscore interact and i have defined a method and implement the method over here so method handle toolbar and and method okay go to the here and uh, so what i need to do is uh, save so next thing is e object score e underscore object so i'm going to declare uh, so e underscore object uh, e underscore object go to the parameters toolbar e underscore object which is in a type of this case type of uh, this and go to this class already this is an object and go to this class and attributes it's an empty toolbar okay e underscore object iphone empty toolbar so this is an internal table it becomes an internal table so first my object is see the relation e underscore object iphone go to here here i have an attributes iphone empty toolbar it becomes an internal table that means so i click on this i will take this as an a uh, i will take this work area and i am going to declare in a first work area first so first gs underscore toolbar which is in a type of this and maybe i can take like this gt underscore toolbar and the type table of this type table of this see then i am going to fill the buttons required buttons okay so gs underscore toolbar and iphone do the see so my function what is the function so my function is equal to the s a l l so in menu painter we declare right same thing we are going to write the code here so gs underscore toolbar and uh, iphone and do the control space and suppose if you want to put an icon so this is my icon so i can also i can pass there we will select an icon here we are going to pass the icon very very important guys all the icons will be available in the type group called icon type group guys see there is a type group so i c o n take the i c o n icon and go to here and you can see so there are some kind of uh, icons see uh, i can select all do you see select all see i can select all guys so this is the i can for the select all i can select all so take this uh, take this i can name icon underscore select pass the icon underscore select all and gs underscore uh, toolbar and next one is we have first function icon and it also text we are going to pass it so i am going to pass the uh, text as well. what is the description for this it's an a select all select all and now append gt underscore toolbar sorry gs underscore toolbar the sorry to gt underscore uh, toolbar gt underscore toolbar so i inserted one button guys so next i am going to insert other buttons as well control c 
and control V. So this is an, a DALL. It's an, a DALL and icon for the deselect all. Uh, this, uh, uh, yeah, so this is the deselect all icon, control C and put the deselect all. And it's an, a deselect, text is deselect all. Okay, next button is uh, display inbound delivery details. Okay, display inbound delivery details. Okay, INBD, inbound delivery, my function code. And icon, I don't know guys, maybe details, uh, D-E-T-A-I-L-S, huh? Adder detail. Maybe I can put this icon, guys. I, I can put this icon. Some icon, I am going to put it. And control V. And so here, I am going to write a display uh, inbound deliveries. So this is my another thing, guys. Now, I have filled in an internal table, gt underscore toolbar. So come back, go to the class. See, guys. So here, empty toolbar which is equal to my gt toolbar guys but this empty toolbar is available in the object of e underscore object so e underscore object iphone empty toolbar which is equal to my gt underscore toolbar so that's logic which we need to do so here it is done so e underscore object and iphone do the control space control space huh? empty toolbar so so guys object if you want to call the attribute iphone will work no you need to use the attributes iphone and greater than guys see that's an object orientation it's not a internal table it's an object so instance attribute i have called that instance attribute and which is equal to the gt underscore toolbar gt underscore toolbar so that's it guys we have set an uh, the application toolbar buttons and so now so this is the set handler for the toolbar but this set handler method should be called after the your alv object so like this so again you need to call it so maybe if you want to call this so i'm going to call if you call one more method guys yes you can call it geo underscore events and do the double click it's in a handle toolbar and i can put for all instances not only one instance for all instances case if you have two methods don't use only one class use for all instances since i have added the second method and use this method case now and come back and activate the program activate the program and even the screen did we do any changes in the screen level so no changes in the screen level and go to the output go to the output transaction and execute and execute and f8 and see did i get actually i didn't get my buttons case so I, I think I need to handle the one more uh, thing guys menu button which I need to add it so I need to uh, handle the one more uh, thing which is an a the go to the class and come back and we have an a, a menu button this event also I need to handle it guys so this is the event which I need to handle menu button and come to here and go to the uh, class the class local class so declare the method and put the comma over here and handle and menu button and for uh, event so this is the event and of class and cl underscore gui class is not required cl underscore gui underscore alv 
uh, underscore grid and importing do the control space e underscore object and e underscore okay you come so these two things which we need to handle guys okay but edit so the method which is missing the implementation is missing and method and method method and method then you need to handle the method and do the control space handle menu button and and method and so i am going to add this guys uh, and see so here whenever you, you click button so actually the button should come guys over here by this time actually the button should come toolbar toolbar by the time is there anything i need to do e underscore object empty toolbar gt underscore toolbar so i have passed this function icon and text appended into the toolbar so e underscore interactive uh, activate actually by this time the button should be enabled on the output guys the button should be enabled by this time f8 did you see those buttons user documentation change layout select all deselect all okay and come this side see the buttons are not appeared maybe because of the uh, the screen area maybe it's not coming up guys maybe i will increase the custom control area see here i am not able to display those uh, buttons over here maybe the area which i have selected which is not sufficient maybe i will increase this custom control area to uh, i will extend this custom control area guys so how can you extend the custom control area and go to the screen and go to the layout and extend that custom control area see this i need to extend how can we extend here Hmm? background so this is in a cast account and i am clicking on background only okay go to the uh, flow logic and attributes maybe uh, lines occupied 100 uh, 120 maybe i can put uh, 130 we'll see go to layout yeah so here you need to extend guys go to the flow logic suppose if you want to extend the screen so here you need to extend it guys see 40 i'll go to the layout and it is increasing guys see so maybe now i can this i will increase now i can so i have extended some custom control and activate first you need to extend the screen then you need to extend the custom control is flow large and activate and activate the program and come here and check the output enter 
and execute. So still the buttons are not appearing. So what is the mistake which I did? Yeah, yeah. So maybe um, events, maybe I will handle that method also. So handle this method and uh, case uh, case uh, e underscore you come okay and uh, and case so you are going to get an a you come value over here guys and this is whenever you click on the button then that time it will be triggered guys handle you come handle menu button and so sorry I will go to the SC10. I just I will refer my old program, guys. So go to here. Uh, batch 8 and 9 ALV report ABAP and go to here and go to here and uh, report SCLV auto vendor ABAP and uh, come here. So I have handled toolbar, handle menu button. Handle user command later. Yeah, handle uh, a toolbar. See, personal number I clicked. Okay, uh, this, this, and we are doing an a DS toolbar function. I used icon. I have used button type. Okay, did we put button type, guys? No, that's the problem. So the problem is I didn't put in a button type, guys. So that's the problem. So go to here and add add button type. I discussed but I didn't add the code so GS underscore toolbar and button type so which is equal to the at two so this is what which we need to what is the button it should be in a toolbar button guys so what is the button it is what is the button see a single line of the code which impacts our output so edit and what is the problem when must we uh, will will do it that later okay and uh, maybe this also we will handle uh? so maybe i put in a comment here also i will put in a comment guys so here also i put in a comment and do this and do the syntax check and activate and activate and the screen level also which is in a active mode and now we go to the output and output enter and do the it's in a big report guys so f8 even though it's not coming up this should come over here Why it's not coming up? Yeah, E underscore object and empty toolbar, which is equal to the uh, GT underscore toolbar. That's what I did. I can select all I can deselect all I can create and handle menu button okay we'll add this code as well guys okay so Handle menu button, handle user command. It's not coming up. So 
So I'm going to add this also. Okay, so handle uh, menu button for event menu button, save ready printer and uh, uh, take it out this comma. We have an, another method and ready printer and handle the method. Okay, when it is in a okay, uh, S A L L and when it is in a D A L L and when it is in a I N B D. So we have given three options, guys. Okay, we have given three options and we need to add the function call method. We need to add the function call method. It's an e underscore object and uh, do the function add function. So this is the method which we need to handle. We need to give an, a function code. What is the function code which we need to give? So one is it is an S A L L select all. Okay, text is select all. Okay, and next one is same same method same function which we need to call it. And control V, it's an A D A L L and it's an A D select all. And next one is I N B D I N B D and it's an A uh, display inbound delivery details. Display inbound deliveries. Okay. And also after you declare this method and we are going to call this method in the set handler and go to the PBO module and PBO module call this method as well. So here in this, you need to use zero underscore uh, uh, events and handle the menu button. So for all instances, ready printer do the syntax check and activate activate this and activate the program and activate the uh, screen okay now come here and go to the alv report and execute and execute and execute execute and still the options are not coming up Why the buttons are not coming up? Hmm? I think, yeah, that is also one of the problem, I think. So maybe I come from fresh. So SE38, why it's, it's not coming so guys maybe my events are triggering or not first th that i need to check it guys first so events will be whenever you do some actions and maybe i put an a uh, one breakpoint here and another breakpoint here so another breakpoint here so whether first this these things are triggering or not that's i need to check it first so go to here and go to the report enter and give the input and execute and yes this one debugger is triggering come back again again go to the report and enter and execute and f8 Guys, see my methods, my set handler methods are not triggering. So if I want to trigger my set handler methods, so what I'm going to do is, I'm going to do this uh, PBO and PAI also I need to do this. And uh, maybe I go to the change and go to here 
and uh, B A I. Why these are not triggering? C ten display. So we declared public section methods, same methods and implementation handle double click, handle toolbar and handle this and we are adding the function and user command. This is fine. So after this and uh, go to this and this is my input and also this is my selection logic and I did a call screen and in the call screen and the status C set PF status set title bar. That's not a problem. And I did this and also field catalog match choose everything I did and set table for first display. And after this, we are creating the objects. We are handling the set handler for all instances and call method. Ah, uh, this is the me method which I need to call it is so call method. Zero underscore ALV set to toolbar interactive. So this is the method which we need to use it. So set to toolbar interactive guys. So in the Zero underscore ALV. So guys, some step which I am missing. So after you do the set handler methods. So what method you need to call? Set hmm? set uh, call method. Sorry, call method gvo underscore alv and set to toolbar interactive set underscore toolbar interactive guys. so uh, see guys save and ready print up and act, uh, activate now definitely we are going to get it guys so this is a reference program and go to here and enter So F8. See guys, now our code is triggering. So definitely this time we are going to get the toolbar actions. So GT underscore toolbar and we have stored that. See the icon, you can see select all icon and button two and select all, select all. So F8 guys, definitely. Uh, see guys, we are going to get only our things what about the standard things? Where is the standard options? We are getting only our options. So where is the standard options? Where are the standard options? So standard options are not available. And I need to get the standard as well as my custom guys see when I go here and what I did what the mistake I did see here I am getting the standard one and apart from I get my the custom one guys see this is my select all and this select all why the standard options are disabled so why the standard options are disabled Select all and deselect all display in boundary details. Disable the standard options. So what the mistake I did? And go to the code and call set toolbar interactive. And guys, so after this, actually, I need to call one more stable thing. The, maybe the this is the problem with the stable. So see guys, I, I need to use the set refresh for table display. So I need to refresh it. So this I need to do. So this action I need to do. After I do an interactive. Even I need to refresh the table and I need to make this table. So that means if it is if you don't call this table and it is going to remove the existing ones case. So call method. 
call method and go underscore alv and uh, uh, refresh what is that uh, refresh table display do the this and here you need to pass an a one parameter called with stable rows and columns and maybe this is giving me the problem and i can say it's an a gs underscore stable okay so here i need to pass the this columns as an a stable maybe i need to declare this first so declare an a gs underscore stable gs underscore stable and which is a type of so how can you know the types? so maybe go to the this method refresh for table display in this table which is the type of this case so which is the type of so lvc underscore s underscore stable okay lvc s underscore stable so save and go to the pbo and in the pbo and pass this refresh for table display so before this refresh for table display and stable and i fun column which is equal to above underscore so put in a columns and a rows they should be in a stable mode and i fun put the row which is equal to above underscore So maybe this refresh will give the uh, the standard options and go to the screen so every time we it, all things should be in active mode otherwise so the program doesn't come it doesn't work so this is generated and now come to here and this is the alv report and 3000 and execute Stop transaction, execute 3000 and execute. Mm. Okay, F8. Select all, okay, it is, it is not giving me the things, guys. It is getting two times, two times it is doing. What is the problem? So maybe go to the events. So maybe I can do the uh, refresh, G, refresh GT underscore uh, toolbar. We need to do the refresh case sometimes. And also, uh, that's it, and execute, and execute. So that's fine. So that that is in a bug, guys. We'll solve later. But we are going to see the what is the actions. If it is in a select all, what I need to do. If it is in a, a deselect all, what I need to do. Okay. See, I am getting in a select all and deselect all, and also display inbound delivery details. When I I select in a select all. So when I click this button, select all, and whenever you do action on the uh, on the application toolbar, it will trigger an at user command, guys. But here in this object oriented, the uh, event which is going to be triggered is we have an a user command event. Same way, so go to the uh, C24 and CLGI ALV grid. 
and we have an a user command event so go to the user command event so so go to the events and there is an a user command event which will be triggered so menu bar is up yeah there is an a user command event which will be triggered and declare the method for the user command and user command and parameters and we have an si you come so what is the si you come which you clicked on it if you select all SALL. If it is deselect all DALL. If it is in a display inbound delivery details, it is in a INBD. So write the code for this and declare the uh, method for the user command and put the comma and uh, handle underscore user command and uh, for uh, event. It is an a user underscore command and of CL underscore GUI underscore ALV underscore grid and importing which is a Psi you come guys. Okay, then declare the method and Handle menu button and after this I need to declare in a method. Okay method uh, Handle user command and uh, end method and go to here and okay so case what is the importing you come and end case so whenever you click a s a l l do something functionality when it is in a d a l l do some functionality when it is in a i n b d and do some functionality case this is the logic which we need to handle maybe select all means i need to uh, modify the internal table gt loop the internal table uh, loop uh, gt underscore uh, final loop at uh, gt underscore final final into into gs underscore final and and loop okay so make the field checkbox gs underscore final iphone checkbox and which is equal to above underscore true so that means i'm going to select the checkbox and modify the uh, modify gt underscore final from gs underscore final and index psi iphone tabix and transporting what is the field checkbox that's it okay and petty printer and guys so after you do this okay after you do this and you need to refresh guys again you need to refresh your screen so if you want to refresh your screen and also uh, refresh the table call uh, method so zero underscore alv here also i need to refresh the screen and dal also i need to refresh the screen call method zero underscore alv and refresh uh, table display and do the control space and again guys and also you need to call the method check change your data call method zero underscore alv iphone and another method is check change your data do the control space and these two things which you need to do it guys so first enable the fields and display them and you need to do any check change it data and pretty printer and the same code which you need to write for the DALL. So, what is the thing which I need to do? DALL. So, when it is in a DALL, maybe it's you need to do false. Space, you need to pass it. Save and pretty printer. And do the syntax. What happened? okay and 
I have declared this method. Even this method should be called in the set handler methods and go to the PBO in the PBO. So even you need to include the, this method in the set handler. So include this method. So GO underscore events and handle a user command. Even this also you need to enable guys. So every method, whatever you declare for the event. So this is the question guys. How do you handle the events in the object oriented ALV? So you must know these steps. So you need to declare a local class. You need to handle the method in the local class and call that method, the set handler method after you are creating, after you call the uh, output display, you need to handle those methods, guys. You need to handle those methods. The two things are very, very important. Okay, we did four methods. Okay, and now I go back and come back and uh, come back and again execute the report and execute the report and F8. <coughs> and I'm going to do when I select all. Yes, it did. It is an a select all and do the deselect all. See, deselect all, select all. Okay, deselect all, deselect. Now I need to handle the display inbound delivery dish. I think 1120 will handle this in tomorrow's class case. Okay, it's too much today and do this up until this practice and simple guys. So maybe the problem is object orientation and we need to know all the parameters. Guys. So go to change. So display. So here we are handling the screen. So the screen which we have declared and in the screen we have two sections PBO and PA in the PBO Okay, so in the PBO you need to create a custom container object You need to create an instantiate an ALV CLG ALV grid and call prepare in a field catalog and GT field catalog and So what are the options which you need to add in the field catalog modify the internal table with the required fields? and call the method set a table for first display to display the data and suppose in ALV everything if you want to do any interactiveness the important is event you need to handle the events if you want to handle the events you need to declare in a definitely you need to declare in a local class case so this is my local class and we are going to maintain the methods so if you want to do in a double click we are going to use the double click event and this is the set handler this is the method this is an event case Whenever the event is triggered, the method which is assigned to the event, the method we call it's in a set handler methods. So these methods will be triggered. So whenever this method is triggered, the method which is the code under the method which is implemented, that will be triggered, guys. So this is the logic. And what are the methods you played? You need to execute these methods. If you want to execute this method, you need to go to the uh, PBO and you need to call the set handler methods. So if it is in a one method, so set handler this of uh, for the uh, object. But if you have, if you want to handle multiple methods, you need to use for all instances and do the refresh for table uh, display guys. And so that's the foundation. Then later tomorrow we are going to see the uh, the remaining things. So whenever you click on a push button, a at user command will be triggered. So the at user command here is an event guys. So the user command is an event. So in the user command, so we are going to handle the logic for the buttons. See, so in the user command, the button logic is, so when it is an SALL and loop at internal table and enable a checkbox and modify the internal table. And again, refresh the output by using the method called refresh table display guys. And if you want to enable that X in the uh, table level, you need to and always right and check changed data guys okay like this select also we did same thing and tomorrow we write the logic for the inbound delivery details and we'll go to the next screen there we are going to display the inbound delivery details guys that's an interactive reporting by using clgi alv grid okay that's it for the day thank you all see you tomorrow
bye bye uh, please don't delete